Ethan Grant here. Ethan, it's your dear old auntie. Sheridan, where are you? I'm in my hotel, looking at the most breathtaking view I've ever seen. So how are you feeling? The truth? The truth, my dear nephew, is that I've had a miraculous recovery from my accident. I am deliriously happy, overjoyed to be alive, and madly in love. Which brings me to the reason for my call. When are you going to marry Gwen? <laughs> Sheridan, you're my favorite relative by far, but subtlety is not your strong suit. <laughs> Life is too short, so answer me. Gwen is there. She put you up to this. Wrong. As a matter of fact, she left like a bat out of hell. Didn't even say where she was going. Probably had a hot date with some sexy Frenchman. Whoa. Speaking of sexy Frenchmen... You're leaving Jean-Luc? Uh, yes, I have a couple of errands, but uh, it won't be long. Jean-Luc's leaving. I gathered. You really serious about this guy? Mm, serious and hopelessly giddy at the same time. Oh, I'm so in love, Ethan. And finally, I've gotten it right. So when are you going to bring him home to pass the crane approval test? Never. Oh, come on, Sheridan. You would deny my father and Grandpa Alistair the pleasure of grilling him mercilessly? You bet. I won't allow my dear brother Julian or my father the chance of messing up this relationship. Well, good thinking if you want it to work. And just to put your mind at ease, I already approve of Jean-Luc as long as he's the one. I'm sure, Ethan. Finally, somebody loves me not for my name or the family fortune. Jean-Luc loves me for who I am. Gwen told me she actually convinced you to get out and meet the locals. <laughs> oh, yes, that. Well, thanks to Gwen, I met a young woman who seems intent on dumping every disgusting liquid known to man on top of me every time she sees me. She sounds charming. <laughs> Who is she? I don't know, and I don't want to know. I hope I never see her again. Like a candle in the night It shows me the way through the darkness You're like an angel by my side Your gentle spirit lifts me up high Taking me, Jean Luc. You will see. It's real. This is how you break with Mademoiselle Crane? I don't trust you, Jean-Luc. Hey, what up? We're gonna do it like this. about how you almost died in that accident? I didn't. It was 
hell for me. And uh, the doctors weren't sure whether you live or die. So I did something that uh, I haven't done since I was a little boy. I uh, bargained with God and I begged him to spare you. And I promised that if he did, I would devote the rest of my life to making you happy. But you didn't have to do that. You already make me so happy, Jean-Luc. But I want to be sure that it will continue forever. I want to be your husband. So I can love you the way you deserve to be loved for the rest of your life. I know just the place, Jean-Luc. The spot we met. You know, that riverbank on the Seine where the old accordionist plays? We'll invite everyone we've ever met. I don't care how much it costs. Am I to take your answer as yes? Yes, Jean-Luc, yes. Yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> mm.